we all possess the potential for a simmering pot of rage hidden beneath the surface, just waiting to bubble over at the slightest provocation. Whether it's gridlock traffic, leisurely pedestrians, or that co-worker who consistently pilfers your yogurt from the office fridge, the triggers are endless. But imagine how empowering it would be to maintain a calm and collected composure, staying as cool as a cucumber, even when things get heated. The following steps to managing anger are rooted in the timeless teachings of ancient Stoic philosophers, such as Seneca, Epictetus, and the renowned Marcus Aurelius. These wise individuals were masters at keeping a level head amidst turmoil and chaos, even as their empires crumbled before them. And here's the kicker, their guidance is just as relevant today as it was centuries ago. So let us dive into the wisdom of these great minds and learn how to maintain inner peace in our modern world. Step 1. Identify your triggers. Every person has their own unique set of circumstances and situations that can instantly send their emotions into a frenzy. Maybe it's that one friend who consistently arrives late for everything, causing your blood pressure to skyrocket. But remember, anger is not an inevitable reaction to these triggers. It is a choice. As the philosopher Epictetus wisely stated, it's not what happens to you that matters, but how you react to it. So take a moment to reflect on your triggers. Is it the chaotic rush hour traffic? The endless arguments on social media? By pinpointing exactly what sets off your anger, you can begin to develop healthier coping mechanisms to navigate these challenges. Step 2. Challenge your negative thoughts. Our minds are like bustling factories, constantly producing thoughts that shape our perception of reality. But oftentimes, these thoughts are distorted and far from the truth. For example, when you find yourself thinking, that person is purposely trying to annoy me, it's highly likely that this thought is unfounded. After all, they are simply existing in their own world, just as you are. As Marcus Aurelius so wisely stated, our life is what our thoughts make it. So instead of letting these negative thoughts control us, let's challenge them. Are they truly helpful or beneficial? Are they based in reality? More often than not, the answer will be a resounding no. It is important to address and confront these thoughts rather than letting them control us and shape our lives. Step 3. Harness the power of the pause. As you feel your emotions rise, resist the urge to unleash your inner hulk and take a moment to pause. Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Inhale deeply for a slow count of four, hold it for two, then exhale slowly for eight. This simple act triggers your parasympathetic nervous system, infusing your body and mind with a sense of calm. As ancient philosopher Seneca once wrote, he who knows how to wait knows how to conquer. Take this moment to pause, reflect, and regain control before moving forward. Step 4. Changing your outlook. Instead of fixating on circumstances beyond your control, like the slow driver in front of you, try to view things from a different angle. Perhaps they are rushing to an important appointment, or perhaps they have just received some troubling news. Shifting your perspective can soften the blow of any situation. As Epictetus wisely put it, it is not events themselves that cause distress, but rather our interpretations of them. This reminder can help us see the bigger picture and find peace amid chaos. Step 5. Release your emotions in a calm and healthy way. Suppressing anger is like containing a shaken soda can. It will eventually burst with uncontrollable force. However, channeling your anger in a positive manner can help to release the tension. Confide in a trusted friend or family member. Pour your thoughts and feelings onto paper, in a journal, or even engage in physical activity to release any built-up frustration. As wise philosopher Marcus Aurelius once said, when you are offended at any man's fault, turn to yourself and study your own failings. Then you will forget your anger. Step 6. Practice gratitude. You're stuck in a long, winding line at the grocery store. People are jostling and pushing, their impatience palpable in the air. The constant chatter and rustle of bag and carts adds to the chaos. 
As you feel your own anger starting to rise, you take a deep breath and focus on the things you're grateful for in your life. Maybe you're thankful for your good health, your loving family, or the delicious home-cooked meal waiting for you at home. With each passing moment, you let go of your frustration and replace it with gratitude. The warmth from this feeling spreads through your body, melting away any lingering irritation. In Stoicism practice, shifting your focus to gratitude can be a powerful tool in dealing with difficult situations. By acknowledging the positives in your life, you gain perspective and realize that this small inconvenience is just a blip in the grand scheme of things. Seneca said, the easiest and noblest way is not to be crushing others, but to be improving yourselves. Step 7. Embrace Mindfulness You're mindlessly scrolling through social media when suddenly a post catches your attention and triggers an intense emotional response. Your fingers tighten around your phone as you begin to type out a fiery reply, ready to engage in a heated argument with the person who posted it. Before hitting send on that angry comment, take a moment to embrace mindfulness. Shut out the distractions of the digital world and focus on your breath, your body sensations and the present moment. Let yourself detach from the negativity and gain clarity of thought before responding in a rational manner. Epictetus said, The chief task in life is simply this, identify in separate matters so that I can say clearly to myself which are externals not under my control and which have to do with the choices I actually control. Step 8. Begin keeping a journal. You find yourself trapped in a cycle of frustration, replaying a recent and stressful encounter from earlier in the day. Your anger is only growing, fueled by dwelling on the situation. Take out your journal and record your thoughts and feelings about the event. Through this process, you can identify your triggers and develop methods for coping with them in the future. Marcus Aurelius said, if you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your own estimate of it, and this you have the power to revoke at any moment. Step 9. Practice Meditation The weight of the world seems to be crushing down on you, causing you to feel overwhelmed and stressed out. These emotions are making you irritable and easily angered, leaving you with a sense of unease and turmoil. Find a quiet and peaceful place to sit and meditate. Close your eyes and let go of all thoughts and worries, focusing only on the rhythm of your breath. Allow yourself to release the tension that has built up inside, feeling it dissipate with each exhale. As you reach a state of relaxation, envision a calm and clear mind, free from the stresses of the outside world. This practice can help ease your emotional turmoil and bring a sense of peace and clarity to your mind. Marcus Aurelius said, Wherever you go, you take yourself with you. Step 10. Practice Visualization You're anticipating a difficult conversation with someone you know will make you angry. Close your eyes and imagine the scene unfolding before you. See yourself standing tall, your body language, confident and composed. The other person's words may sting, but you remain unmoved, your face gentle and understanding. As they continue to speak, Envision yourself responding calmly and rationally, choosing your words carefully and with empathy. Feel the weight of their negativity dissipate as you maintain your composure. This visualization can serve as a powerful tool in helping you stay centered and collected during the actual conversation. Marcus Aurelius said, Live as if you were living a second time and as if you had acted badly in your first. These techniques are designed to put you well on your way to becoming a calmer, more collected person. Remember, this is a journey, not a destination. There will be bumps along the road, but with consistent effort, you can learn to control your anger and live a more fulfilling life. Remember, as Seneca said, the greatest remedy for anger is delay. So, go forth and conquer. Remember, as Marcus Aurelius said, you have power over your mind not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. By practicing these stoic techniques every day, you can cultivate inner peace and develop a more resilient mindset. Remember, you are not at the mercy of your anger, 
You have the power to choose how you react to any situation.